Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. I hope you have all had a fantastic week. Um, so I just wanted to remind everybody, if you're watching on Facebook, um, comments will go into the Facebook feed. If you are watching on YouTube, all the links that I'm going to be talking about, oops, I must turn that off, um, can be found in my description on my YouTube video. So good morning, Leticia, Sandra, hi. Just a reminder, today I'm giving away a deep heat and deep freeze hamper. I'm going to show you the hamper in a moment. So jump in the discussion and I will announce a winner at the end. And then I just want to remind everybody, you can follow me on Instagram and I would really like it if you do so. I'm going to pop the link into the comments for you. Let's choose my Facebook page. In we go. And Shante, Eni, Candice, Annalise, good morning. Lovely to see you all. Okay, so the first thing I wanted to chat about today is my sciatica problems are flaring up again. So for anyone who doesn't know what sciatica is, it's basically like a pinched nerve and then it causes back problems. I get it so severe that it goes down my left butt cheek all the way down my left leg and then sometimes my leg goes almost completely numb and um, I go regularly for body stress release sessions so whenever it acts up I go to body stress release it is absolutely fantastic and it always resolves the issue however last year towards the end of last year I shared about this in my live videos and on my blog I was so busy, it was exams, it was preparing for end of year, and I kept thinking, okay, I can feel it starting to play up, but I'm going to ignore it, and I'm going to just push on until I've kind of got a handle on everything, and it was the worst move ever. I was busy sorting out some paperwork, and you know, you would think your back goes out when you do something extreme, but I literally put a piece of paper on the bed as I was sorting it, you know, into piles, and as I went like this, my back just went and I screamed. My husband was like, must I take you to the hospital? <laughs> and it was, it was really bad. I suffered for over a month with my sciatica. So it started playing up over the weekend. Um, and yeah, so on Monday I phoned and I made an appointment and I went and I saw my lady on Tuesday. So I'm going to pop a link into the comments just on body stress release. So if you are struggling with back problems, with pelvic pain during pregnancy, I'll talk about that in a second. And um, yeah, it's a fantastic natural way to resolve it. And I see the most amazing lady. I'm going to pop her link to her Facebook page. Do I have it? Oh, sorry, I don't. Yes, I do. Wait. No, I don't. But I've linked to her um, in my Facebook post that I put up the other day. Um, but I put up an Instagram post of my session that I had on Tuesday. So you can go check that out on Instagram. The link is going in now. Um, yeah, it's pelvic pain and so I think it was something that started during my first pregnancy. And the pelvic pain was so bad that I would, um, it was painful just to even take a step. It was absolutely awful. And I remember the funniest thing, that the thing that described it the best was I was in Cape Town, in Plumstead, outside the 7-Eleven. I think I was about eight months pregnant. It was very close to the end. And I was so fat and I was so huge and I was so tired and I was in so much pain. And I, there was a lady begging outside and she was begging from everybody. And as I walked out, she started walking up to me. She looked me up and down and she goes, ooh, you're out of my puss. <laughs> And that just describes it, doesn't it? So uh, the look on my face, I mean, I must have been in so much pain that I was like pulling a face while walking and she put two and two together. She knew exactly what my issue was. It was very funny. Um, but in my first pregnancy, I suffered with sciatica. I suffered with pelvic pain. I spoke to my doctor. I spoke to my midwife. Um, they gave me a couple of things I could try, but everybody I spoke to basically said, the only thing that's going to cure this is having the baby out. Um, and then in my second pregnancy, I started getting uh, pelvic pain and sciatica when I was about, I think I was seven months pregnant. And I just thought, oh, here we go again. Like, I'm so dreading this. 
And then I came across body stress release. Um, because I had a little shoppy in Langabon and two or three doors down was body stress release. And um, the lady that um, does the sessions is Nora and the, the and her husband works with her, but he does all of the bookings and the admin sort of side of it. And he would, while she's having sessions, walk up and down and chat to everybody. And he asked me how my pregnancy is going. And I said, it's going well, but I can see that I'm going to have a problem. And he said, go see Nora. She will fix you. And I thought, well, I'm desperate. I'm going to try anything. And I went to her and I remember lying there thinking, so she, they just poke your back and they tweak your feet. And I left that session thinking, okay, so I'm, in, I'm glad I tried it because I'm desperate to try anything. But I remember thinking nothing is going to resolve this. Certainly not that little session where she just poked my back. Um, the next morning I went to work and I was packing stuff and I was climbing on the table and putting stuff on the top shelf. And then I suddenly realized like, I'm acting like I'm not pregnant. I had no pain, no back pain, no pelvic pain. It was gone. And I only had that one session. I had no pain for the rest of the pregnancy. Um, and then I saw her the second time about a month after I gave birth. And uh, it's quite embarrassing what happened. So um, and amazing what she fixed. So after birth, I struggled to make a poop, if you know what I mean. I had a C-section and I couldn't poop. I didn't poop for about a week after giving birth and then the floodgates opened and then I could not stop pooping and I was at in my little shoppy every day and the toilet is like it was a very small shop and the toilet is like right there and I'm pooping and pooping and pooping and, and I mean like I'm just cucking non-stop <laughs> and this went on for three weeks plus and um, I phoned my doctor, I went on meds, I tried everything I could, and I could not stop pooping. And my doctor said, I can't remember what he said it is, but it happens. Um, and he said, you basically just got to let this thing run out if the meds haven't helped. And I'm like, yes, yeah, I can't be in the shop pooping nonstop right there if people <laughs> walk in, you know. And then, then Ron came over, he said, how are you doing? And I said, I'm embarrassed to say I've got this problem and I don't know what to do. And he said, go see Nora right now. And I'm thinking, okay, really? <laughs> Candace, you were literally full of shit. I was, it was awful. And I went to go see Nora. And once again, she poked on my tummy really hard, like once. And I, I left there thinking as if this is going to help. I had one little poopsie after that, done. Everything was back to normal. So ladies, if you look, like for me, it's like if there's anything wrong with my body, <laughs> any body pains, any strange things, I just go to Nora and um, she sorts it out. So anyway, I went to Nora on Tuesday. I'm already feeling better. Um, yeah, absolutely fantastic. I just want to see if there's anything else here for Nora that I can put up. Cool. So Nora's now moved to Feltroof and it's been really hard to get there because it's like 40 kilometers away and either I've got my kids or I've got a short work day at home without children and it's like, it's hard to get there. So um, I'm moving to Feltroof in a few months and I'm actually going to be within walking distance. It's less than a kilometer from my house to where she is. So I'm like, yay, I'm not going to have any more back problems. Uh, Lisa... You suffered with pelvic pain from six months of pregnancy, even after giving birth. It lasted for two months. Oh, that's awful. Um, I did put a link up in the comments. So I highly recommend you go check out Body Stress Release. Um, Nora, if you're ever in the West Coast and you're near Feltra, contact Nora. She is absolutely amazing. Um, I, like it's, it's am I can't understand still how she can just, I mean, I lie on my tummy and she literally just pokes my back. And then every now and then she tweaks my feet. I think it's got something to do with how your body aligns. Um, I had a, a sex injury. <laughs> Mama, I hope you're not watching. Anyway, I won't go into details, but when you're having sex, always keep your back straight. <laughs> and I, that was a couple of years ago. Um, I had a really big problem and I went there. She sorted it out, chop, chop. And she said that's a really common injury. So, um, yeah, I highly recommend that you check out body stress release. And as far as I'm concerned, the best person in the world to go to is Nora. So, um, yeah. And then the other cool thing that happened with my, um, where's my comments? Where are they? 
Okay, so the other thing that happened was last week, um, I got a surprise delivery from Deep Heat and Deep Freeze, and I showed it in my video last week, Friday. Um, <clears throat> so Friday I got, no, I think I got delivery on Wednesday or Thursday. I showed it in my Friday video, and then between Saturday and Sunday, I could feel, ooh, something's not right. And I'm like, I've got the exact thing that I need that was delivered. So what Deep Heat sent me and Deep Freeze, they sent me their new spray pack. So there's the Deep Heat. And there's the deep freeze. And they also sent me um, this cool little towel, which is really funky. So it's like a small, it's a small towel and it's got this little zippy. So there's like a pouch. So you can put your deep heat in there, which is really, I don't know. I really think that's funky. <laughs> so I love this. And they also sent me, and I love my notepads. Uh, they sent me a, a journal. And it's got a pin attached, which is really funky as well. So you don't have to lose your pin. So this is the hamper, the exact hamper that is the giveaway for this video. So jump in the comments and you could win. So what I loved about this is that I could get my deep heat fix without a moaning husband. So usually what we use is the deep heat gel and then my husband has to rub it on. And he gets irritated with the, you know, you, if, if you rub someone's back with deep heat and then even you wash your hands and you rub your eye, it's going to burn. So he doesn't like getting the stuff on his hands. So this is a spray can. You don't have to rub it in. You just have to spray. So my husband has been spraying me every day and it's really, really helped. So I've, I've seen some people are asking about the deep freeze. So the deep heat makes it warm. And I am freezing my butt off. It is so cold. So I haven't actually tried the deep freeze. I'm going to save this for summer and then I will update you. But I, I don't think I can bear having this on me right now. So this is also, it's for the same thing. Um, okay, so here on the deep heat, it says rheumatic stiffness, muscular aches, joint pain, sprains, strains, pre-exercise warm-up. And this is fast-acting relief from sprains, strains, minor sport injuries, muscle and joint pain. So it looks like they're both going to work really well for the same thing. But um, like I say, it's just a little bit cold, so I'm not doing it. And I just want to check out and see what's the comments here. Oh, Natasha, happy birthday and welcome. I'm glad you are joining again. Any deep heat all the way. Sandra, the towel is lovely. It is. It's super cute. Um, Candace, that all looks awesome. It is. Any, that's a wonderful set. Sandra, the journal is beautiful. It is. I can't wait to start using it. Deirdre, very cool. Love the combo of goodies in that hamper. Jordan, deep heat is the best. Yes, I absolutely love it. It is always my go-to when my back is sore. Jordan, wow, sounds amazing. Nadia, love deep heat, works fast and effective. It totally does. Shantae, you also don't like rubbing deep heat. Yeah, that was always just the downside for me. Um, like I said, I never really got it in my hands because it was always my husband rubbing my back. <laughs> um, but he said he is so chuffed with the spray. He really loves it. Nabila, this hamper could relieve me. My neck and shoulder stiffness. Yeah. Also body stress release. Will definitely help but um, once i've had my session you know i can feel the difference the following day and then each day it gets better until it's gone but this helps as i'm recovering it really is fantastic michelle you love deep heat for all sports injuries sandra was about to ask you about the coldness of the spray well if i have um i had judy here with me before as a guest and if i get her again i'll spray her and then you can you can see how loud she screams <laughs> I'll definitely try it out in summer, but now when it's freezing cold, I'm not going to do it. Jordan, you always suffer with joint pains, especially your shoulders and neck. Yeah, 100%. Uh, Shante, can you use it while breastfeeding? Now you got me. And I, I think I need glasses. In fact, I know I do because... Oh, dear. I can't read this. 
<laughs> I really, I think I need to go for glasses. I was looking at the um, the fine print and I can't actually read it. And they usually will say something about pregnancy. It doesn't say anything. Um, um, I will find out and I will come back to you. Deep heat, pregnancy, and probably breastfeeding as well. Um, I'll definitely come back and find out. I, I don't know the answer to that. Jordan, Deep Heat is your family's trusted brand. Definitely works. And the best brand you've used so far. Oh, and the Deep Heat patches. Yeah, in December, January, when I had the problem with my sciatica, I didn't have any Deep Heat on hand. But I did have one of those period patches that they'd sent me in one of the drops. So I stuck the period pad onto my butt like my butt, kind of my back into my butt where the pain was, and it was absolutely fantastic. Um, does the deep heat have to be stored in a certain place, the deep heat freeze? No, no, um, I just keep it in my cupboard. So, no, I don't think it needs any special storage, not that I've been told. Uh, Natasha... You don't have sports injuries, but so suffer with restless leg syndrome that causes aches in your hip. Will that be effective? Um, I sure it, uh, it probably would. I actually used to suffer very badly with restless leg. Um, also, when um, when I was pregnant, it was really bad. Um, but if you've got restless leg syndrome, something that's really fantastic is um, magnesium phosphate, MagFos. So definitely go get some of those supplements. That will that will help you a lot. That's what I do when I suffer with it. Oh, hey, Lynn. I know the name is Lisa, but that's my, my little fan, Adam, that watches me every week. It's my son's friend. Um, he's just down the road. Hi, Adam. How are you doing, dude? Lisa, do they help with period pains? Um, the patch does. The patch is fantastic for period pains. Um, yeah, it's really awesome. Is there an age from when you can use deep heat? I don't know. I remember my mom used to use it on me as a teenager. Um, but as for children, I actually don't know um, age to use from. I'll find out and I will definitely come back to you. And then also, Sandra, is it safe to use on kids, especially those brains from school? Um, I'm not 100% sure. Um, I would think it is, but I will, I will double check. Jordan, deep heat works for most body aches and pains. Most brands are not all purpose, but deep heat seems to be. Yeah, definitely. Robin, your kids hate the smell of deep heat, but you love it. I love it as well. It's absolutely fantastic. It's the smell of relief. <laughs> awesome. So um, let's see what else we've got. Um, okay, so I've covered everything for the sciatica. Um, and then I just wanted to remind everybody that Pomnado has brought out these awesome little sachets. So it, at this time, um, I don't know if they're going to bring out another flavor, but they brought out peppermint. So you get them in a box of six. And it is a five mil sachet of panada. So when you're out and about or you're traveling, you just pop this in your bag. And if your child is teething or gets a fever, I mean, it's... Um, very cold right now and I can see in the midnight mommy post all the moms are posting that they're sick their kids are sick everybody's sick so never mind um you know putting in your bag for out and about I love this for giving the kids at night um because I'm always I'm on meds so if I get woken up at night I'm like blotto and then walking around with you know trying to get a bottle and a spoon and pouring it just lands up with panada everywhere but here you just um tear open the sachet and pop it in their mouth no mess, no fuss, very easy. It's all measured out. Ooh, fantastic. So you can get it from um, independent pharmacies and selected clicks, discam, and pick and pays. Um, if I remember correctly, the price is approximately 39 Rand. So this is really, really awesome. And then uh, Panaro sent me a really cool post that I published this week. And it is how to help your kids bounce back from cold and flu, from winter cold specifically. Oh, that's really cool. That's something we all need right now. 
And then um, feel free to pop over to my Instagram and go check out my post on Instagram where I share the Panado sachets. I really love this. My husband, my husband had a headache the other night and it was so funny. He comes to me and he says to me, do you have headache tablets? I'm like, well, if you've used them all up, they're gone. So he asked me, what about those Panado sachets? And I'm like, but it's pediatric syrup. It's for the children. You know, and if he wants to take it, he's going to have to like drink every single one of my sachets. So I told him no. <laughs> I said like, also because I need it to show in my videos. So my husband was not allowed them. I mean, 12 by 5 moles. I don't know how much an adult would need of these to recover from a headache. But yeah, I did buy him headache tablets the next day. Oh, Shantae, no sickness allowed in my house. I don't want to struggle with it in winter. Too cold to get up. And I've just got it. I'm going to touch wood. Nobody in my family has been sick this winter so far. And I would like to keep it that way. I'm so grateful. Uh, Jordan, how many sachets in a box? It's six sachets. No. Twelve. I thought it was six. But it says here there's twelve. <gasps> my mistake. I've been saying it's six, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Twelve sachets in a box. Oh, my bad. 12 sachets, 39 rand. I've been saying it's six sachets in a box. Oops. But now we know. Letitia, I know that struggle of looking for a spoon at night for the medication. <laughs> I know, right? It's so bad. Like when my kids have, have been sick at night and I come down to my kitchen and it's just like sticky stuff everywhere, sticky spoons. <laughs> Uh, Sandra, the sachets are a lifesaver. Letitia, Panada makes mum's life easier. Robin, it works for adults too. Shame. <laughs> and it looks like now I did have enough to give him. I thought there were only six. Oh. oh, I'm such a mean wife. Candace, shame for husband. <laughs> Look, I'll be honest. He's taking too many, um, too many Panados. I don't know why, because I keep buying and buying, and then the box is just finished. And it's not me taking it because I use natural remedies. Um, I try not to take meds as far as possible. So um, I don't use, I take headache tablets maybe once a month, if that. The t shirt, yeah, the whole box. <laughs> Shante, you rub panada on your son's gums. Yeah, fantastic. Uh, multitasking mom, Highland, hello. Thanks. Didn't know you get the Panado sachets. Where can I read about the article to bounce back from colds and flu? Um, I'll just pop the links. Uh, the links are in the comments. So you can, um, I'll just pop them in again. So there's the, the article about bouncing back from winter colds. Um, where can you get these? From selected Discam Clicks and Pick and Pay stores and some independent pharmacies. They've just come out. So it's not surprising you don't know about it. It's a very new product. Deborah, I've used Panado as an adult and it works too. Child at heart. Yeah, I use Panado for, for adults as well. Uh, let's see. Deirdre, regarding the mint flavor, baby and I aren't too well at the moment. And I found out at the doctor yesterday, mint menthol is an active ingredient, reduces the breast milk production. So just a heads up to the breastfeeding moms about that flavor. How can it reduce breast milk production if your baby has the unless you drinking it as well yeah i didn't know that about mint and menthol oh robin you get a box of six and a box of 12 okay because i i had six in my brain okay so i bought a box of 12 and there is also a box of six okay thank you for clearing that up i just suddenly thought i missed the plot completely but it seems like i am actually halfway <laughs> with the plot Sandra, you can easily pop it under your pillow and you're good to sleep. No need to get to the kitchen for a bottle. Yes, exactly. And if you've got a breastfeeding baby, keep it under your pillow. Emmy, no stress now. We'll pop the sachet in my handbag. Yeah, fantastic. Mark, can it be used on German shepherd puppies? Just a thought. I don't know if you're talking about the deep heat or if you're talking about the Panado. I don't have an answer for either one of that. I don't have a dog. I don't think that this comes with instructions for pets. I'm not sure. But once again, 
I need glasses. <laughs> I can't read it. Candace, I'm a mom. I'm that mom. The kids are sick. I keep meds at bedside table as I don't want to get up at the night. Yeah, I do that as well. But then the bedside table is full of sticky the next morning. It's like something is always full of sticky. Letitia, have you ever thought of rubbing a small amount of deep heat on the head for headaches? No, I haven't thought of that. And I've gotten a spray can. I don't know if that will be good. Cover your eyes. Oh, here we go, Shante. Mark, our vet said Panado is good for dogs, not cats. Well, there you go. Fantastic. And then Amanda says, don't use it on human medication on dogs. It affects their liver and kidneys. So maybe just check with your vet. Um, yeah, I, I would be very careful about that. I would definitely check with your vet before you make any decisions over there. Cool. So I've done sciatica. I've done Bernardo. Let's see what we got next. Ooh, okay. I went out to eat with my family on Sunday. It was absolutely superb. So I'm wanting to kind of check out Falter for a bit more. I don't really know the area, even though I've lived in the West Coast for 10 years. I mean, I've been to Faltroff. I know where the spa is. I know where our house is, where my father-in-law lives. Um, I know one or two things, but I, I'm kind of wanting to get to know the area a bit before we move there. So my husband took us all out to eat at the Faltroff River Market. It is so beautiful. I'm just going to pop a... Um, where is it? Uh, a link to my Instagram post. You can go check out the pictures. So what was really cool about this place is um, you get to, there's, look, there's a couple of things that comes on a plate, but they're platters. So we had a rib and chicken platter, and they also have like a, a seafood platter, but we had a rib and, and chicken platter, and it comes on a spade. It is so cool. Um, and my kids had burgers, and it's absolutely fantastic. The food was top-notch. The service was amazing. What I really liked is the, the waitress came and took our order, and my kids both ordered burgers. And then she took the order to the kitchen, and the chef came out and said to my children, you guys are having the burgers, right? So do you want tomato and lettuce on your burgers? And they're like, no, we don't want it. And she said, perfect. So it was like it was that special sort of – personal touch where she knew it was for children and she wanted to check most children don't like the tomato and the lettuce and stuff on their burgers so she came out to double check instead of just sending it out how it is and then my kids having to pull all the stuff out so that was really nice um like i say i love it when there's that personal touch so they've got a nice small little indoor eating area which is where we sat because it was very windy like a chilly wind so we sat indoors there's a couple of tables indoors and it's very quaint very pretty I put up some of the decor in my pictures. So there's like this really cool picture of a frog, like a big thing. Um, and they've got a couple of stuff they sell, like a couple of, you know, um, kind of farm story stuff, like olives, etc. Really, really nice. And then um, they've got this huge outdoor area, and it's right on the river. So it's overlooking the river. And somebody asked on my Instagram post or my Facebook post, do they have live entertainment? They do. My husband went there the other day. Uh, during the week for something and um, she mentioned it to him that they've got live music sometimes I think on a Saturday and a Sunday um, sometimes so we definitely going to um, check it out again we want to go for the seafood platter so it was really really spectacular um, the food was divine Deborah I love your no glasses trying to read the instructions face <laughs> well I, you know what, I, I, I don't want to feel like I'm getting older, my eyes are failing me, but I, I really need glasses. So, um, yeah, I think I'm going to have to make an appointment and go get my eyes checked. Amanda, I've never been to anywhere in the Western Cape. It's on my bucket list. I was born in the Western Cape. Um, I was born in Cape Town and grew up in Nordic. So um, I love the Western Cape and I, I absolutely love the West Coast. It's stunning up here. Nadia, West Coast is beautiful. It is. Letitia would love to visit Feltroff River Market. It sounds amazing. It was absolutely stunning. It's definitely one of those places we're going to go back to. Letitia, you're making me super hungry right now. <laughs> Getting served on a spade is awesome. Yes, it is. Jordan, that was very thoughtful of the waitress. Um, yeah, well, it was the waitress and the chef. So it was the combination there. It was really, really nice. Deborah, yeah. 
Okay. <laughs> the teacher, my daughter absolutely loves tomatoes. Actually, extra tomatoes on everything. And my daughter actually loves tomatoes. She, the cherry tomatoes, I can't even buy them if I want to make a salad. Because if I put them in the fridge and I come back later, the only thing that's left is the empty container. She's like noshed the whole lot. Um, so, yeah, it's a problem, my daughter, with tomatoes as well. But for some reason, she doesn't like the tomato slice on the bigger. I don't know why. I love it. Uh, Candice. That's so my daughter, no garnish on her burgers. Yeah. Debbie, when are you moving? Um, so what's happening is my father-in-law's got a nice big house in Feldruff. Um, It's just him. So he wants to downsize. So he is building a little fat in the garden. There's a big garden. Um, and that's going to be for him. And we are moving into the main house. So when are we moving? Um, when the flat is built and everything is ready. So they've already started the, you know, the beginning of construction. So it will be a couple of months. Um, we're estimating maybe August, September, but we'll definitely be gone before the end of the year. So it's kind of bittersweet because my, my son was born when we were living in this house. My daughter, we moved in here before she was 10 months old. She started walking at 10 months old and we were in this house when she started walking. Um, and we live right on the beach and we've got a dirt road. We've got fantastic neighbors. Um, and this is a beautiful house in summer. It is so fantastic. Winter, it's the worst house. It is cold. The sea, chilly sea breeze comes like right at you. So, um, yeah, but some really cool things when we move. My kids are each going to have their own bedroom. And, uh, yeah, that's going to be absolutely fantastic. My daughter's 10. My son is 8. So every morning there's like a fight breaks out where, get out. I need privacy to get dressed. It's my room. You get out. <laughs> and, I mean, you can just imagine. It's like. Oh, every morning. Um, so it's going to be really great for them each to have their own room, their own privacy, their own space. Um, the other thing is my father-in-law's got a dishwasher and he doesn't want to take it to his side. He's going to leave it by us and we have a dishwasher. I am the dishwasher right now. I've always been the dishwasher. So I'm going to have my first dishwasher. Um, you know, so it's going to be really cool. Um, also, it's, um, the, the, the house is enclosed. The, the garden is enclosed. So right now we don't have a fence so i mean it's very safe where we are so my kids can play outside but only when i'm there kind of keeping an eye on things so it'll be nice to be able to let them just go play freely outside without having to worry it's going to be really cool and i'll have a babysitter on tap so i mean i, I won't like every five minutes like leave and go out for five hours but it'll be so nice to have that freedom like now if i, if I need to do something and i can't take the kids i need to plan it carefully um, my father-in-law is going to be there all the time. So I will be able to like nip out for five minutes, come back and not stress about it. So I'm, I'm so looking forward to that new level of freedom and more privacy for everybody, more space. It's going to be really cool. And a dishwasher. <sighs> Jordan, you're an adult and you don't like garnish on your burgers. <laughs> Jordan would also love to visit the Western Cape. Letitia, it's definitely on your vacation list. Woo. My comments just suddenly went, so now I need to scroll back up. Um, Jordan, do you order food online? Um, are you talking about takeaways or are you or are you talking about food, like groceries? So, yes, I order groceries online from Checker 60. Um, I absolutely love using Checker 60 to get my food delivered. Um, takeaways, I'm in Saldana. There's not much here. Um, like on a Sunday, the spa's closed in the afternoon. There's, you know, like all the normal takeaway places you get Kentucky Fried Chicken and Debonair's and Spur, Steers, you name it. There's nothing like that in Saldana. Um, you've got to go and get your own stuff. Jordan Uber Eats. <laughs> no. No, no Uber Eats, no food deliveries, no takeaways. Um, and even like on a Sunday afternoon, you can't even drive and get takeaways from any of the little stores in Saldana. They're like closed. So, yeah, uh, that's one thing I miss about Cape Town. I remember when I first moved here, I said to my husband, like on a Sunday afternoon, I said, I'm just going to go to the shop. He says, what shop are you going to? <laughs> I was going to go to the spa. He says, honey, you're in the West Coast now. 
Um, so that's one last thing. When we get to Felter, um, that spa is open from 8 to 8. Yay! Um, that's going to be really awesome. But the downside is there's no Checker 60 delivery there. So, But the spa is within walking distance. It's less than a kilometer. So, yeah, it's there's going to be some really cool things. Chanel, you want to go to the V&A waterfront? You've never been there. I love the waterfront. There's so much going on, so many cool shops. So, yeah, definitely. Letitia, that's lovely. The kids will get to visit Grandpa anytime. Yeah, it'll be absolutely fantastic. I'm really looking forward to it. Chanel, extremely different lifestyles. Are you going to miss home? Look, we are. like, um, And I think my kids, they're kind of processing the thought of moving. Um, but they both said to me, like, they don't remember living anywhere else. Um, so I think for them, it's going to be a huge change to move and be in a new home. Um, I think so. It's, it's, it's exciting, but it's also a bit scary for them. They're feeling a bit anxious about it. But we're doing lots of talking about it. And, you know, it's not the nice thing also is that they're very familiar with the house, obviously, because it's my husband's father's house. So, yeah, Jordan, at least you will have your photo book of memories in your current house. Yes, we've got some beautiful memories here. Letitia, yes, they're going to be excited to have their own rooms. And I am too, because when I go in there, it always looks like a bomb's headed. And then I'm like, you, come tidy up. He's like, it's not my mess, it's hers. And she's like, no, it's his. <laughs> now when I walk into a room, I'm like, you clean up your room. And it's going to be, it's just going to be a lot easier. Letitia, yeah, no more hand washing dishes. <laughs> yes. Deborah, are your kids excited? They are very excited, but also a bit apprehensive. So it's a mixed bag. Amanda, I can't live without my dishwasher. It makes life so much easier. Uh, my kids are very excited as well because I said, you know, when we move there, it's going to go from dishwashing duty to packing the dishwasher and unpacking the dishwasher. They are really, really happy about it. Letitia, grandfather babysitter. Boom. <laughs> Like my parents asked me a couple of years back, they said, um, how do I feel about them moving to Langebaan? I'm like, yes, yes, yes. And my mom says to me, could you just remove the fact that you just see a babysitter on tap? And do you think we will enjoy living in Langebaan? And I'm like, not really. <laughs> I'm not sure if it will suit you that much. <laughs> Truth bomb. Yeah. Um. Chanel. Oh my word, alone time for you and hubby. Date night. Yes, I can't wait. It's I mean, we hardly ever go out as a couple. Um, yeah, our kids are usually with us most of the time. So that will be really fantastic. Chanel, Checker 60 is fast and efficient. I absolutely love Checker 60. I wrote a review on my site uh, when they first came to our area. It was amazing. So yes, I'm going to miss Checker, Checker 60. The teacher, a spacious house is super lovely. Yeah, you know what? It's not that I think it's as I don't think it's that much bigger than the house we have now, but the difference is it's all open plan here. So my office is open plan uh, upstairs, open plan over into the rest of the house. So kitchen, lounge, dining room is all one area. Then there's the bedroom, and then there's a bathroom, and then there's my kids' room. So like there's no um my kids don't have privacy from each other or somewhere where they can go to their own space. Um, and my kids are always in my space. Uh, you know, there we've got a separate lounge. We've got a TV area that's open plan with the dining room and the kitchen. But there's a closed off lounge. Each bedroom is closed off. Um, there's an office that's got a door that's closed off. There's a garden that's closed off. So it's not, it's not so much that the house we have now is that much smaller than that house. But it's a very, very different setup. So um, I think that's going to make a really big difference. <laughs> Deirdre, I thought dishwasher was a synonym for all females' names. Exactly. And, you know, what, what I do is my kids each have a day. They, they each have two days on dishes at home. But they're, they're only on – it's about kind of introducing the dishes thing to them. And um, so they don't, they're not on dishes duty the whole day. They wash the dishes after supper. And it's literally only the plates, knives, forks, glasses, and stuff that we use at the table. I actually wash all the dishes before supper. And then they leave the pots and pans because they're still quite small. So I do the pots and the pans 
later in the morning. So I still wash the dishes two to three times a day. They just wash those little bits of stuff in the afternoon. And then my husband washes all the dishes on a Saturday morning. Um, well, no, not all of them. He, there's some things he doesn't like washing, so he leaves those out. But, but besides that, I do all the dishes, you know, and it's just so tiring and exhausting. Jordan, at least your father will help with the kids and you'll want bonding time with his grandkids. So it'll make your life a bit easier and you can do what you want for a good couple of hours. Exactly. I am so looking forward to that. Chanel, you can walk to get groceries for the cost of fuel. Exactly. So from where we live, I can walk to the spa and back. I can walk to the lady at the body stress release and back. And we can even walk from our house to the bus stop where the kids get picked up. So the kids are going to go on the Kura bus to school. Um, that's also within walking distance. But I think the bus comes past our house. So they might pick them up there. I don't know. We haven't we haven't worked out the finer details. But, um, I mean, everything I need for a day-to-day -day basis is within walking distance. So that's really cool. Jordan, you must try the Pick and Pay app also. Love the specials and so many discounts for free delivery. And 60 Rand off your first order. Plus, most of the time, your favorite Nescafe coffee is on special. But buy two, get one free. Okay, I must check that out, definitely. I don't... I don't know if pick and pay delivers to Faltriff. Maybe they do. Then I have to change the shops that I go to. Cool. Oh, so many comments. Oh, Letitia, the kids love the blame game. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Uh, Letitia, will the family be thinking of getting a pet? Uh, we are because we don't have an enclosed yard now. Um, so we, we can't have cats. I had cats um, when my husband and I got married. I had three of them. And it turns out my husband is seriously, seriously allergic. I think I spoke about this in a recent video. Um, so I had my three little boy cats and my husband, his allergies was like a tap, which you cannot close, that just ran continuously. So he would be awake all night with all this snot and, and stuff. It was really awful. Um, and of course, my cats would go sleep on his pillow and target wherever he went. I don't know. It's like they knew. <laughs> um my one cat, unfortunately, I had to put down because he was seriously old and he, he took a big down, downward turn. So I had him put down. And then a couple of months later, I felt so bad for my husband. I sent my cats to go live with my parents at the farm. They are farm cats. One has since died and my other kitty is still there. So we won't be getting cats, that's for sure, because my husband suffers. But my father-in-law has got a lovely pit bull. He's such a nice dog. He's getting old now. Um, so there is a pet already there. So the kids will love that. Um, and we may get a dog at some stage. So that's really going to be awesome. I mean, I grew up with loads of pets and I think it's so important. Chanel, oh, you live with nobody nearby and your parents and family on another province and you long for alone time or a date night. I know the feeling 100%. Chanel, will we be near the beach? So right now, I mean, I can see the beach from where I'm sitting. Um, it's our house. There's a couple of bushes, and then you're literally on the sand. Um, if I had to walk from here to the water, it would take me less than one minute. Uh, from there, it's about three kilometers to the beach. So three-kilometer walk from our house to the beach, three kilometers back. So it is very close. And close to the river, everything. It's really stunning. Robin, yes, try pick, pick and pay ASAP. I'll definitely, definitely do that. Amanda, hubby only drinks Nescafe. Yeah, because the price of Nescafe, I mean, I remember it being 79 Rand 99 and then recently, and then suddenly it's 130 Rand. I don't know. I just, I can't handle the t shirt. Sorry to hear about my hubby's allergies and my cats. No, look, that was years ago. And, and and that old boy that died first that I put down when we were living in this house, when I got him, he was old. He was a feral cat from the waterfront and I rescued him. He was going to be put down that day. Um, and I took him in and he had a fantastic life. So no, I'm, I'm all good with that. Um, my other cat was also got really old. Um, and my cats, I mean, it was, it was, it was hard for me to send them to the farm. But trust me, they love the farm. 
they absolutely love it um yeah i mean being a farm cat that's like the ultimate it was sad for me but also i mean i wouldn't have given them away if i didn't have my parents to send them to to the farm but um you know they were so happy and at least i knew they were in a good place and that the cats were happy my parents loved them so and i could visit them so every time it's school holidays my kids and i go to the farm and we play with the cats so it's fantastic um in fact i've got a really beautiful photo of my one cat um on instagram i'll share it with you um i found him in a bin at my work um and he was so small that he he should have died um and he he's so beautiful i think he's a mancoon so i'll just pop that in you can go check him out and he looks like a lion he's like the color of a lion and he's got these long hairs and stuff really really beautiful and the reason why he survived was my boyfriend at the time had a cat that had just had kittens so i took him home took this kitten to my boyfriend's house and that cat nursed him and he suddenly just got so fat and so strong and so beautiful so yeah and my son is obsessed with this cat it's absolutely divine does your hubby enjoy fishing <laughs> So, Chanel, we've lived here on the beach for 10 years. My husband's regularly gone fishing. He goes out there for hours with his fishing rod. You know what he catches? Nothing. I don't know if he does it to get away from me or if he actually wants to catch a fish, but he's never come home with a fish. Not once. Not even close. <laughs> Candace, at least you'll get your steps in walking to the beach at the new house. Yeah, fantastic. And we also want to get a bicycle. So, the, the roads here where we live is very narrow. People drive like maniacs um you know they, they don't even stop at the street they just turn without even looking so we don't really ride our bicycles here but in fault of the roads are wide um people drive better it's a lot safer also right by our house there are devil thorns all over the place so you just drive your bicycle out the gate and you've got like five thorns in your wheel so i'm planning on getting a bicycle and i'm going to cycle with my kids so that's going to be really fantastic Chanel, he's adorable. Oh, he is the most, and he's got such character. He is a beautiful, like, animal in and out. Chanel, my husband as well, he says it's not about the fish, but to relax. <laughs> yeah, I, I think for my husband, it's an escape from his wife. <laughs> yeah, Leticia, you love it when these human beings can help animals and make their lives super happy and give them loads of love. Yeah, every single animal I've had has been a rescue animal um i don't go buy animals or go searching for them it kind of they find me and i just keep them so yeah awesome so let's see felt of river market done on that um i just wanted to share with you all that fyi play it safe is having a webinar it's on our youth and social media uncensored what your child is really being exposed to so i'm just going to pop that um and it's rachel best is doing it she is the um the person behind the fyi play it safe app that i'm using so that's an app that monitors um your child's activity online and it watches out for things like suicide self-harm bullying grooming all of that sort of thing swearing whole stack of stuff um so i've got the app on my phone and it gives my daughter complete privacy but if it picks up anything of concern, it takes a screenshot and it sends me an alert. And I can see the screenshot and decide, is this a concern or not? Um, and then take it up with my daughter. So I've been using that app now for, I think, maybe about a month or so. And it is fantastic. I'm so, um, it's so nice to have that um, peace of mind. So Rachel is fantastic. So I really recommend that you check out that webinar see what banner i have next Ooh, survey time so as you guys know i absolutely love y sense um i make sometimes okay this last month i made only 88 dollars and the month before that i made 98 dollars or something on y sense there's been months i've made 150 dollars on y sense um but your yeah, average is approximately 100 dollars a month and i think this year i've made over 600 dollars on y sense so it works really, really well for me, but I know, and I'll get onto Wisense a bit later. I'll talk about that. 
But a lot of people have said that they struggle with Ysense because it takes so long to get a survey. Um, and I'll, I'll get into Ysense, like I say, a bit later on all the negatives and the downsides and the positives on that. But a new survey um, that I've come across, a new survey company, is Survey Time. So you can sign up. I'll just pop the link in here. And I'll tell you what I like about this. So Survey Time is an app where... Um, most surveys are $1 per survey. Most surveys take maybe 15 minutes or so to do. Um, and you get paid immediately once you've completed the survey. So you can get paid via Amazon, via PayPal, or via Coinbase. And I've cashed out in all three ways to test them all. So, yeah, they pay you out immediately. And it's really fantastic. So that is really cool. You don't have a cash out limit. You don't have to wait for your money. Um, there are surveys that come in every single day. I haven't always gotten a survey every day because I've been busy with other stuff. But when I go on there and I try, I usually get a survey. So it's really, really awesome, really, really cool. It's a really simple app. Sometimes there are not $1 surveys available. So they'll tell you there's one for 50 cents. Um, but they make that very clear. And what I like as well is that it's, easier to qualify for these surveys than it is with Ysense. Also, if you get kicked out, you get kicked out early on. Sometimes I've done a Ysense survey and I've been there for 10 minutes and then you get kicked out. And I'm like, come on, you know? So that's one of the downsides of Ysense. But um, survey time, yeah, it just seems very simple, really easy to use. So I highly recommend you check out that app if you're interested in doing surveys. Letitia, you'll check out the webinar and the app sounds great. Yeah, no, the app is fantastic. Uh, Letitia, while getting paid for surveys and in dollars, I absolutely love it. Nadia, why since has gotten back to me this morning and they are working on the PayPal. Okay, fantastic. So um, a couple of uh, readers have been commenting on my post that they're struggling to cash out via PayPal because it's saying, what is it saying? I don't know what it's saying. Um yeah, but they're having an issue. I think it's got to do with the ver verification. So they've been struggling to get their, their cash outs via PayPal. Um, I haven't had this issue ever. Um, but yeah, Ysense is coming back to them this morning and they're working on it. So yay, I'm so happy. The T-shirt, that's super cool not having to wait to get paid. Yeah, all the other survey um, things that I do... You've got to reach a certain amount before you can cash out. And then when you cash out, like with Ysense, you cash out, they pay you within five days. So, yeah, you've got to have a certain amount in your account before you can cash out. And then it takes five days. So, like I say, I earn a lot more from Ysense. But, um, yeah, I like that thing where you're just like, boom, there's your $1. Like, yay, <laughs> it feels good. Uh, Chanel, how does it kick you out? Is it because of Signal? No. Um, are you talking about being kicked out of surveys? No, no, no. Um, so what happens with surveys is each survey is from a legitimate company that's looking for information from specific people. So maybe they're looking for somebody in their 30s. I'm 43. Maybe they're looking for somebody that's black. I'm white. Maybe they're looking for somebody that has a dog. I don't have a dog. Maybe they're looking for someone that's breastfeeding or pregnant. I'm not breastfeeding. I'm not pregnant. They might be looking for someone that lives in a certain area. They might be looking for someone, you know, um, so like a pet food company will be looking for someone that has a dog, for example, to do their survey. So I will get kicked out of that survey. So you never know what the survey is actually looking for. Um, yeah, so you can get kicked out for so many different reasons. You just don't fit the profile that they're looking for. Um, the other thing is you can get kicked out, for example, um, surveys are only looking for a certain number of people. So if you click on it and then they reach a certain number of people before you finish your survey, sometimes they boot you up and say, sorry, the survey's already been, you know. Um, so there can be a lot of reasons. Um, also what happens um, specifically with Ysense is that they are looking for um, people that are honest and people that are longer members. So the longer you're a member and the more surveys you complete, the easier you find it to complete surveys. So it gets easier and easier over time. When you're a new member, you don't have much of a trust factor. So you can get kicked out of surveys really, really easy. It's really hard to get your first survey. 
Um, and then it's kind of a catch-22 situation because you've you've signed up, you haven't done any surveys, and you can't do any surveys because you haven't done any surveys. <laughs> so you've really got to be like a dog with a bone and sit with it. And like um, I've shared before, I joined in 2015, and I struggled so much with it, I left it for two years. And then I came back um, when I'd learned a bit more about it, and I'd had other advice from people, and then I really pushed through, and I my trust factor is now good. So it's easier for me to complete surveys than it would be for somebody that's new. Nadia, you're going to install a survey time. Yeah, it's fantastic. It's much easier to use. What I also like, which you don't get with um, Wisense, is every time there's a new survey, they'll send you an email and they'll tell you if it's a desktop or a mobile survey. So I found sometimes if I'm on my phone, I'll do a survey with Wisense and then they kick me out because it's supposed to be done on the desktop, but they don't tell you before you click on it. Um, so yeah, you get email notifications. So that's really cool. Um, the t-shirt, yeah, because some people do large surveys. Loads of people do. So what people, what a lot of people do is they want to get paid um, and they don't understand that they're actually offering a service of value to people. So the survey companies have got a built-in sort of, um, they've got lots of control questions. So if now I say on my survey, oh, I think they're looking for someone with a dog, I'll say, yes, I've got a dog. But in my profile, when I set up my profile, I answer the whole stack of surveys. I said, I don't have a dog. So if they catch you lying in the survey, you, you actually could get your account banned. So be very careful with that. Stay consistent. Always answer honestly, true, no matter what, even if you're going to get kicked out, because it's not going to benefit you to get booted out. Um Debbie, persistence is key. Persistence is definitely key. So, I mean, I've been talking about what I said. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put up my Wisense banner now. Where's my Wisense banner? Make money with online service. Okay, so I've already spoken a bit about Wisense. I'm just going to jump into that, even though it's not in the right order. Um, I've written a, a review on Wisense on my website, so you can go check it out. So that basically explains to you what is Wisense, how can you earn from Wisense, um, how can you cash out, what are the cash out limits, Um all, all of that information is on that review over there. So you can go check that out. And then after I wrote that review, I started putting a lot more effort into Wisense. And um, I learned some more things after writing it. So these are tips to help you earn more specific. So it's not about how it all works. It's what can you do to make sure that you increase your earnings and you make more money on Wisense. So those are all of that. And then Debbie... Deborah is looking for a link for Wisense. There's the link for you to join going into the comments right now. So I absolutely love Wisense. Um, just know that there are, it's not a perfect um, platform. There are downsides, but so it's not, it's not for everybody. Not everybody's going to love it. I personally absolutely love it. I love making an extra hundred dollars a month. That's like nearly one and a half thousand Rand. So I absolutely love it. Um, I can tick off Y sense. <clears throat> cool. And if you're struggling with anything on Y sense, just pop me an inbox um, and I can help you with it because there are certain sort of niggly things that you can do to kind of um, that maybe I haven't covered in the post. So if you're struggling with something specific, just pop me an inbox message on my Facebook page and I'll see if I can help you with that. Um, I've been there since 2015. So yeah. I'm sure I can give you some insight <laughs> into how to earn. Uh, let's see. Okay, cool. So I want to go now into, I've spoken before about an app that I absolutely love, which is called Snap and Save. Um, I don't have any of the links here. I should actually have had that ready for you. But Snap and Save is, a, is an app where you can sign up for free. And they've got offers all the time. It's cashback offers. You scroll down, see what products you can get cashback on. You go buy it. You snap your till slip. They put the cash into your app. And then you can cash it out to your bank account. I love it. I've gotten back. I only signed up, I think, in January. And I've already gotten 600 Rand cash back since then. Um, so it's just basically, yeah, checking out what offers they have, what I like to eat. My kids love it. Um, it's been really fantastic. But through sharing about that, I've had a lot of moms share with me about other stuff that you can do to get cash back. So one of these is Buy Smart, which is um, Tiger Brands. So this doesn't work through an app. This works through WhatsApp. 
So what I'm going to do, we, I'm going to I'm going to put the how you sign up into the comments now. Okay, so you sign up by sending a WhatsApp message. Um, you just say hi to buy smart on 0728976278. Maybe I should make a little banner for that. So you can see it. Add banner. Okay. So you can sign up. You just send that message. You just say hi um, on that phone number. And then they kind of give you an explanation of how it works. Um, so what you do basically is you go shopping, you take a photo of your till slip, you add it in there in a specific way, but you've got all the instructions in there. Um, and there's certain, so Tiger Brands, there's certain things you buy that you'll get points. So for example, uh, my brain has gone blank, uh, Crossing Blackwell Mayonnaise, there is Chutney, Mrs. Ball's Chutney, All Gold Tomato Sauce, um, there were some cereals, I can't remember which ones. Um, what else? Black hat peanut butter. I don't know, I can't even remember. But they've got a list of stuff there that you can earn points. So once you've done your shopping, you come home, you take a photo of your till slip, you pop it into the app, and then they award you points for certain brands that you buy. And then you can cash out those points for call time or vouchers. Um, I haven't seen any vouchers available, but I can already cash out. I've only added in two till slips and I can already cash out 10 rand call time if I want to. So that's going to be super useful at the end of the month, you know, when things are getting a little bit tight and your call time is running out you, or you need data or whatever, you can go in there and you can go grab yourself a voucher. So I really like that. That's really cool. So that is buy smart. Um, let's see here. Uh, Deborah, a snap and save has been slow lately with processing till slips. They've been super, super, super slow. But did you not get an email from them? Um, I received an email from them stating that they're doing updates or I don't know what it said, actually. I, th I think it was that they're doing updates. So I think they're updating their app. Um, and they said while they are busy with that process, there may be delays to the till slips. But as soon as the update and all of that stuff has been completed, it will speed up. So, yeah, they are going a bit slow now. But we have been notified. I was notified. Um, now we've got a question. Uh, Jordan, are the points higher with more products on the slip? Um, is this for... Buy smart. I think it's called buy smart. I'm still very new to it. I'm buy smart. Well, so what it is, is they're not going to award you for every product you buy on buy smart. They're only going to award you points for specific products. So if you go into the app, you can go in there and you can see which products you get rewarded for. And you'll see which products you get points for. Also, you can only get rewarded for. So if you go buy 10 Black Hat Peanut Butters. They're not going to give you points for everyone. I think they only give you points for the first three or the first five that you buy. So you basically get awarded a certain amount of points for specific products, you know. So like the tomato sauce has got a different point value to the chutney and everything's got its own point value. But if you go on, if you sign up and you go onto the app, you can go and you can check it all out. Um, I find it a bit disjointed to use and a bit weird. Um, what I do is I just... I don't follow what products I get points for anything because, yeah, so you go in there, you type home, and then the, the menu comes up, and then it says points. Do you want to know what points you get for different products? And then you've got to type in three or whatever, and then you type in three, and it says um, if you want to know what points you get, type in one for canned goods, type in two for cereals, three for this, and you've got to type in cereals, and then cereals comes up. And then you've got to start the whole process over again to go see what you get for canned goods and then go see what you get for drinks. So my patience is not that great. Um, so what I do is I go shopping, I come home, I go in there, I say scan my till slip, I put my till slip in and I whack it in there and they can reject it or not reject it. <laughs> it just, it's very long-winded and, and, and it works in a funny way. So 
I don't take note of all the points amounts, whatever it is. I don't even take note if I'm buying those products. I love all built tomato sauce. I love um, Mrs. Paul's chutney. There was Oros on there. There was uh, black peanut butter. I buy all those things anyway. So yeah, when I go shopping, I just snap my till sip and, and whack it in there and get stuff or don't get stuff. So I don't really follow that. Debbie, you just cashed out 300 around the snap and save. Yay! Yeah, I, I absolutely, my kids as well, because they know, like, I'm always looking for the savings. So, like, on a Friday now, when we go buy sweets for their Friday night movie, they're like, Mom, we need to check Snap and Save. We need to, like, plan our sweets. <laughs> and what was it? Last week, they got Skittles, and I got money back on the Skittles. So, it's really cool. It's fun, you know, and the whole family gets involved. Jordan, the price of oil is insane. It is. <gasps> Unbelievable. I mean, all the prices are just shooting up. It's absolutely awful. Letitia, lovely. I'm already loving this. And South Africans definitely need the extra cash at the moment. Yep, they do. Fantastic. I've got another one as well that I just signed up for. Yay. Um, Chanel, giving it a go. I can send slips from this month or only from after one after I sign up. Um, it depends which app you're using. So I believe. Yeah, I, I don't know. Each one works differently. So, for example, I've got Snap and Save. You have to buy your stuff within two days of booking your stuff. And then you have to snap your slip within that time frame to claim your money back. And that slip can't be more than two days old. So, it really varies. I don't know what the rules are for Buy Smart for, um, for when you're – I just snap my stuff. I do it as I do my shopping. I come home. And then I do, I've got multiple things I do with my till slip. So one till slip, I'll put onto Buy Smart, I'll put it onto Snap and Save, I'll put it onto I Bought It, um, and I'll put it onto Panel Smart, which is the next one that I'm going to talk about. So I've got a system that I have. And then I keep my till slip until it's approved on Snap and Save, because sometimes I've rejected my slip because it was blurry, because I didn't snap it right. Then I, I've got an opportunity to re-snap it. So I've got like a system now of, of how I do it. The T-shirt. Yeah, it's fantastic. I'm loving it. I did. Uh, yes. So, um, so I'm using my till slips in four places right now. I'm using it in Snap and Save, the same slips. Snap and Save, I bought it, I-B-O-T-T-I-T, -T -T -T, uh, Buy Smart and Panel Smart. So I'm going to Wait, let's just see. I'm just going to go through the comments quickly, and then I'm going to talk about Panel Smart. Um, there's another way I can get free airtime through Savey54. I upload my Uber slips for the current month, and on the second of every month, your account gets charged. Okay, that's cool. Um, Shantae, can we get all the names of the apps on a post or something? I'm going to do that. Um, yes, I'm going to write a blog post with all the, the savings apps I use and the survey apps. I just haven't used some of the, the, the savings apps long enough to write a review. So like, for example, Buy Smart, I've only started using from this week. And Panel Smart, I've also only started using from this week. So um, I'm going to go onto Panel. I'm definitely going to do that. Um, so panel smart, get rewarded for your shopping. Um, I'm just going to put the sign up link there. So panel smart is an app, but before you can use their app, you have to sign up on their website. And even when you sign up on the website, you don't, um, you don't get approval immediately. They actually phoned me and they asked me a whole stack of questions. My age, where I live, do I have children, husband, um, all, all of that. So, um, so yeah, so I've just put the link in now. You can sign up on the website. Once you have had your phone call and they've approved you, then you can go and you can log into the app. If you download, like I downloaded the app because someone recommended it to me and then I couldn't log on because it's like, you're not a member. And I'm like, okay. So then I went to go find their website and I signed up and then I had to wait for them to phone me. Um, they phoned me, I think after a week or, or a few days and then I got approved. Um, now, panel smart's also a bit tricky. So, this one, you don't just snap your till slip and say what you're claiming. This one, it's actually a, um, a market research company that doesn't want to just reward you for certain products. They want to know about 
all your buying habits. So every single tail slip you get, you go onto the app, you say where you bought it from, you say how many items you bought, how much the total came to you for your entire shop. And then you've actually got a scan. So like if it's if it's this deep heat, now my eyes are so bad, I can't see the barcode. So what you'll do is you'll scan the barcode of every product you've bought into the app. So you've actually got to, you know, like they do it at the till. <laughs> you get home, you unpack your shopping and you do your own little till thing at home. So it's a bit of a pain in the ass, but I'm kind of getting into the, um, the swing of it now. Some of the things you don't do the barcode. So like, for example, meat products, you don't do the barcode. So you just go and you say one product, no barcode. Um, and then I don't quite know how the payout works. The guy explained it to me on the phone. Um, but I think over a year, you can make like a thousand rand back. And you you get, what do you get? You get vouchers. So you can get take a lot vouchers. I think there's all sorts of other vouchers. I just heard take a lot and I'm like, I'm in. <laughs> so it, it is a little bit of um, a little bit of effort and a little bit of work. Um, but I'm definitely giving it a go. And all these things add up. So, yeah. And like I said, you guys are all asking me, can you please give us a review on all the apps <laughs> and in your opinion, which works best for you? Um, well, Jordan, I can tell you right now, Snap and Save is the best. Um, because number one, it's so super easy to use. Number two, you get cash back into your bank account. Number three, it's all on products I use every day. It's the simplest to use. So out of all the apps I've used so far, Snap and Save is definitely the one that gives me the most value back and is the easiest to use. I would say the next second easiest one to use is I Bought It. I'm just going to put the name up. I Bought It. Add banner. Show. Um, I love this one. And this was recommended to one of you guys during my live video. So what, what's really cool is that, I mean, I don't know about all this stuff initially, but I shared about Snap and Save. And then readers came and told me about Buy Smart, Panel Smart, and I bought it. So I go sign up, which is really cool. And there's another one that I've, I've, I've signed up for, but I haven't used it at all yet. So that's why I'm not sharing about it. But it's the Avo app by Nedbank. So once I've, I'm going to use it for the first time this evening. Um, so I'll let you know how that works. Um, but I bought it is really cool, really simple. So I bought it, you download the app and then there are surveys you can do. Um, so when a survey is available, you get 50 points for a survey. Um, and every time you shop, you can snap your till slip and you upload it and you can upload up to 16 till slips in a month. And each till slip that is approved, you get 20 points. And once you reach 500 points, that's the minimum amount I think you can get a reward for. Um, but you've got to check what rewards are available. Sometimes there's no reward available for 500 points. Um, I've seen rewards for 5,000 points, for 2,500. But generally, 500 points equals 50 rand. So you can cash out from 500 points if there's a voucher available for that amount. I've seen... Um, Vouchers for checkers, vouchers for take a lot, vouchers for sorbet, superbalist. Um, what else? Yeah, I mean, stuff that we all use, like really cool vouchers. I haven't cashed out a voucher yet. I'm on 2,100 and something points, and I want to save up because, um, like I said, I want to get a bicycle when I go to Feltriff. So I've got 600 Rand that's already approved in my Snap and Save app. I've got 400 Rand pending that has to be approved. Um, like somebody said, it's going. It's taking a long time for approval. So I should have a thousand rand in my app that I can cash out whenever I want very soon. And then I'm going to add in my, I bought it and I'm going to cash out for take a lot. And I'm going to add my snap and save savings and I'm going to get a bicycle. Yay. So yeah, the bicycle I saw there's 3000 something, but it's on special for two five. So here's just hoping that I can earn enough to get there. Yeah. So I don't have my snap and save review. Oh, I'm actually just going to go find that quickly because Snap and Save is hands down the best app for savings and money back and all of that. It really is absolutely, whoops. Oh, here we go. It's right on my homepage. So I don't know why I'm searching for it. It's right here. Um, and like I said, I will create a separate review for each post, uh, for each app and each 
savings thing, but I need to really use it and get to know it really well so I can tell you everything that is about it and write a good review. So there's the link to my review on Snap and Save on my website. So go check it out. Um, Jordan, what withdrawal method do you suggest? Oh, for which one is this? Is this for I bought it? Um, if this is for I bought it, I have not actually withdrawn yet, which is why I haven't written my review. Um, but I bought it has got, you can only trade in your points for vouchers for um, snap and save. You can only get cash back into your bank account. Um, buy smart panel smart. I haven't received anything from them yet. So no, actually buy smart. They've told me I've got some points. I think I've got 2000 points or something. Um, and I'm able to cash. I think a, a 10 rand voucher is a thousand points for call time. Um, like I said, I haven't actually cashed out. So, um, yeah, we'll see. Like I said, I can only really write a review when I've used the product or the app extensively enough to kind of give you all the information that you need. If I don't have all the information, I really can't write a review. And that's what it basically gets down to. Cool. And then I just wanted to remind everybody I've written a an ebook about my days in addiction. You can get 50% off that book through this exclusive um, coupon code. So you guys can go check it out. Um, oh, I've just got a question here. Um, yeah, so you can go buy that ebook if you if you're interested. Um, Deborah, you've said you you sold me on Snap and Save. Can I use slips from online purchases? A hundred percent. Yes, you can. So, um, like I buy online from, say, Checkers, um, Checkers 60, which I really love. And then I download the slip from my, uh, yeah, I get the slip, I download the slip, and I upload it to Snap and Save. So, yes, you can definitely do that. The t shirt, take pictures when you get your new bicycle. I will, I will. I mean, I'm, I'm halfway there. If the special on Take a Lot stays long enough. <laughs> for me to get it for two five if if it goes back up to the full price i'm only a third of the way there uh jordan should a slip be within a time frame for example not older than three months yes 100 percent, and that depends on which app you're using so for example i bought it your slip that you upload cannot be more than two days old on snap and save you have to snap your offer uh, you have to book your offer you have to snap your till slip within 24 hours or 48 hours and your slip cannot be more than 48 hours old. Um, buy smart, panel smart, I don't know yet um, how that works with the dates and stuff. So, I mean, I'll, I'll figure it out, but I, I don't actually know the answer to that. But I think you can't go take like three months, like a year's worth of old slips and upload it. Um, that's not going to work. Cool. Cool. Um, yeah, and then another cool thing I'm doing, which I have not been able to write a review for yet either, but I'm really loving it so far. So I am sharing the link. Um, and that is Sweetcoin. So Sweetcoin, basically, the you, you download Sweetcoin and you download Google Fit and you connect the two so that Sweetcoin can track your steps through Google Fit. Um, and then what happens is, for every thousand steps you walk, you earn one sweat coin. And then sweat coins can be traded in for offers on the app. And I've seen various offers. I've seen Amazon uh, vouchers. I've seen Netflix. I've seen eBay vouchers. I've seen products as well. But just watch out for the products because you can maybe get the product for free with your sweat coins. But then you still got to pay delivery, which is from overseas. So it doesn't really help you that much. Um, and there's also stuff where you can get huge discounts on certain things you trade in your points for discounts at certain stores. So, um, yeah, I'm really loving it. Um, you can also earn cash, but only if you refer people to Sweatcoin, which is part of what I do. So um, I can cash out to PayPal, referring people. Um, they're also launching Sweat Crypto soon. So when you earn Sweatcoin, you will also on the side earn Sweat. So full disclosure, I don't know anything about crypto. I don't think I even believe in crypto. I, I don't understand crypto. But why not check it out? 
So the reason why I haven't written my full review is because I'm waiting for the crypto to launch. They say it's launching this summer and they're overseas. So it is their summer. So it's any moment now. But I want to, um, before I write my review, I want to figure out, I mean, for me, it's like a lot of people are like, wow, I've got crypto. Uh, my brain says, cool, crypto. What can I buy with that crypto? Can I buy a physical product? Can I trade it in for cash? Um, so I, I can't write my review yet because I want to know how does it work in reality? What do I get? Do I get cash in my hand from sweat? Do I get to buy products on Amazon with my sweat? Um, because if I've got loads of sweat and it just sits in a wallet and it's apparently valuable, um, but I can't buy anything with it and I can't, I mean, I can't eat it, can I? <laughs> so uh, my review will come out, but I'm just hanging on for that information and to test it out before I share about it. So yeah, that is in the pipeline as well. I'm testing lots of stuff at the moment. And when I have the full info, then I'll write my review. So yeah. Debbie, you're not working as walking as much as you did. It's just so cool. So I was sharing a lot in the warm months about my weight loss, my exercise, my walking. It's cold. I've put on a bit of weight. I haven't put on loads of weight, but I can feel I'm a little bit softer and rounder around the edges. I'm not walking as much. It is just, it's blitz and cold, man. I, I, I just can't. So I will pick up again when I get my bicycle. Maybe I'll be more active. <laughs> But right now, I'm doing a lot of eating in bed with Netflix. Truth bomb. <laughs> All the hard work I've put in. But no, I'm not I'm not putting on a huge amount of weight, but I have I am a little bit chunkier. So I will I'll pick that up when the weather gets warm. When the sun comes out, I'll come out and I'll be walking. So yeah, uh, Debbie, you, you're not alone. Leticia, it's crazy cold, freezing here in KZN. It's winter and all we want is comfort food. And it exactly. So don't blame me if I put on all the weight I lost. Because <laughs> between last year and a couple of months ago, I lost 10 kilos. Um, and I finally made it down to the healthy BMI weight. I suspect I'm not quite there anymore. Um, I'll pick it up again when, when the sun comes out. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jordan, we all binge eating and we all hibernating because of winter. It's just too cold. I can't. And yeah, I've got a lot on my plate with work, with kids, with exams, with um, we're going to be moving. Um, I'm just not focusing too much on my weight until we've moved. And then I'm going to pick myself up and yeah. Debbie, we're on the same WhatsApp group. Huh? What? Are we in a WhatsApp group together? I don't know. Which group are we in? Jordan, my house is fully tiled, so it's absolutely cold. Us too as well. And we've got big windows looking over the sea, which in summer is fantastic. But in winter, like all that cold just comes right into the house and it seeps into your bones. It's like, oh. Nadia, same here. Not worried. We'll sort out weight in summer. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, I know I was on a real mission. But it's just too much now. Um, Netflix, you've been watching Inventing Anna. Well, check it out if you haven't. I haven't seen that. I'm going to write that down because I can't remember everything. Inventing Anna. Oh, isn't that? No, I'm confused. Is that the chess one? No, I'm on a completely different thing. My sister told me to watch something about some chess thing. And she said it was really good. Oh, Chanel, it's a phrase, meaning we all are like, okay, okay, obviously I'm not with the program. <laughs> yeah, Jordan, to come out the bed in this cold weather is hard. Yeah, and it, I work from home, so quite frankly, I get into bed and I, yeah, I, I work from bed with food, with nibbles. <laughs> Jordan, she's talking about the Queen of Gambit. Yes, that's the one. Okay, I must not write that down so I don't have to get it again. Queen of Gambit and Inventing Anna. Cool. Thanks for giving me some new stuff to watch, ladies. I love it. Okay. Um, guess what? Remember I spoke last week. <clears throat> I was running, launching a new giveaway on my website every single week for a long time, for years. 
And then my mental health took a bit of a dive and I was really struggling with my energy levels, my motivation. And I had to decide which balls to drop. And running giveaways on my website is a lot of work. It's setting up the form. It's setting up the whole email system. It's setting up, um, obviously, you know, collaborating with brands for giveaways. Um, it takes a lot of work, a lot of effort. Um, and last week I shared that I'm, I'm starting with that again because my energy levels are better. I'm not struggling so much with my mental health. And my first giveaway in months is now live on my website. Um, and what it is, is Jurassic World Dominion comes out on the 10th of June. So it comes out next week, Friday. So I've got a giveaway on my website. You can win one of two Jurassic World Dominion hampers. I've just put the link into the comments. Um, yeah, so there's two hampers going away there. So you can enter online. And then next week, Friday, when the movie launches, there's going to be a live giveaway, you know, during my weekly live, like this one, but next week, Friday. There'll be a, a hamper as well. And then also I've got giveaways lined up for each week in June. I'm not thinking about July yet. I'll kind of think about that in a week or two. Um, so, yeah, so on Tuesday next week, my books, I don't remember my book is, okay, so I'm actually going to have to think. Um, Tuesday next week, there's a new competition where you can, oh, I know what it is. Um, it's a competition sponsored by Independent Learning. It is for tippy books. Those are the learn to read books. So it's a complete set of learn to read books. And that is worth about 2000 Rand. And that competition is going to be launching next week. So keep your eyes open for that. Um, yeah, I'm just so happy that the giveaways are launching again. It really is a lot of work, which I don't mind um, because I love doing them. But like I say, when my mental health takes a dive <laughs> and I get so tired and my motivation is low, I've got to decide what am I going to cut out so that I can survive. So I cut out competitions and they're back. Yay. So, um, yeah, go check it out. Go enter over there and we will. Yeah, it's going to be very well on, on the way soon. Cool. So now I just want to see if I've got anything else that I've left out. No, that's it. I've done everything. Okay, so I've got to choose a winner for... Ah, okay, so here's my winner. She's just left a new comment. Do, 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 do. This is the winner for, what are we giving away? The deep heat and the deep freeze hamper. Deirdre Bester, congratulations. I'm just going to write your name down quick. Um, and you are saying, don't stress. Enjoy the comfort food and the Nova chocolates. Oh! <laughs> yeah, I, I am enjoying the Nova chocolates. My father-in-law is loving it. I gave him one. He came with us when we ate out at um, the Faltriff River. I can't remember what the name is now. Faltriff River. River Market. Faltriff River Market. He came with us. And as a treat, I bought him a chocolate. And I gave him one of the Nova chocolates. And then that was on Sunday. But Tuesday, my husband comes home. He says, my dad wants to know if you've got any more. <laughs> so luckily, Nova, I did send him another one. But I should be getting my June drop from Nova chocolates any day now. So I'll have another huge box of chocolates to help my keep my father-in-law happy and to help me with my, my nibbling in bed. Um, but this afternoon, my daughter's friend is coming over. And we're going to be making this really, really cool. I don't know how to describe it. It's like a... Um, like a chocolate dessert thing. So I'm going to melt the chocolate. First, I'm going to melt the white chocolate with milk and sugar and gelatine. And then I'm going to pour it into like a, a little dish. So it's like a little, it's going to be like a little slab of, of wobbly but solid chocolate stuff. So that's the white chocolate. Then what you do is you take another dishy and you pour some, um, some dark chocolate down the same up to about here. Then you take the solid white one, you put it on top. And then you cover it with chocolate, um, with the dark chocolate, so that when you take it out the fridge, it looks like a loaf of chocolate. But when you cut it open, it's got like the little white bit in. So that's what we're going to be doing this afternoon. So, yeah, um, it's a chocolate afternoon for us. We're going to have lots of fun. So I'll share that. If it's a success, I mean, sometimes I make stuff in a bones. <laughs> then I just eat what eat the terrible-looking thing <laughs> on the
on the side. I don't share about it. But if it's a success, I'll share the recipe. I found it on YouTube. It looks really, really awesome. So, yeah. Um, Deirdre, please pop me an inbox message on my Facebook page. I am going into full mommy mode straight after this movie, uh, this video. So I'll get back to you as soon as I can. My son's doing chess all day, so we've got to go tomorrow all day to a chess event. And then my husband's going overseas to Thailand on Monday, so I have a Sunday. So I have to lift him to the airport on Sunday from the West Coast. I've got to drive to Cape Town and back. So I'm going to be pretty much a wall until Monday. So, yeah, but pop me a, a message on Facebook with your email address, and I'll get back to you latest Monday when everything is, like, settled down. And, yeah, everybody have a fantastic weekend. It's been great talking to you. Stay warm. Eat lots of comfort food. <laughs> Don't feel guilty. And have a good one. Bye.